Okay, let's find the value of x uh, if x is in between 0 and 2 pi. And remember that if we have sine of theta, that's equal to y over r. And looking at the unit circle, which is going to be pretty useful for this exercise, we have 1 comma 0, we have 0 comma 1, we have negative 1 comma 0, and... 0 comma negative 1. Okay, now let's get started. First I'm gonna factor this guy and it's just a simple difference of squares. Hopefully that makes sense to everyone. Which is gonna give us actually sine of x being plus or minus 1. So there's gonna be two possibilities there. That would be positive 1 or negative 1 of course. So what is x gonna be? Uh, since sine of theta is equal to y over r, and the radius of the unit circle is just 1, um, by definition, we uh, are just looking at the values of y for these cardinal angles to determine sine. So sine of x is going to be 1, positive 1, when x is 90 degrees or pi over 2. And when is sine of x going to be negative 1? When y is negative 1 here, 3 pi over 2. That's it. Apparently a pretty complex question, but not too bad actually. Hopefully they made good sense. and. Uh, you can visit this website for many similar videos. Thank you.